Okay, so this is probably the biggest theory video I've ever done in Piggy. Like literally by the time this video is done with, your minds are gonna be blown. I have so much evidence to back up what I'm about to say in this video that if this theory turns out to not be correct, I will literally be so surprised. I am so convinced about this. Now you might be wondering what I'm talking about. Well, I'm talking about Dude Man. I'm talking about his real actual name. I'm talking about who he was. I'm talking about all of his secrets. I'm also talking about Mr. Stitchy. There's literally so much information in this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you're prepared because we're going to be going fast. There's so much to cover. Also, if you haven't played the new Zizzy chapter, spoilers, obviously. So quick recap of the end cutscene of the Zizzy chapter. Basically, Dude Man reveals a few things. Number one, Dude Man reveals that he used to be a normal person before the infection started. Number two, he reveals that he never spoke, just like Zizzy's sister Z. We'll talk about her in a little bit. Dude Man reveals that he was lonely and he befriended this creature from beyond the void, the one beyond, this weird interdimensional creature. He reveals that he was friends with him, but over the period of actually we don't know how long over a period of time dude man started to become more like this creature from another dimension and this creature didn't like that so he left him and destroyed the world on his way out he caused the infection that's how he you know destroyed the world now if you're pretty confused by what i just said trust me me too i've spent the past day literally trying to figure all of this out and i believe i have so let's go ahead and get started so hopefully you remember the mr stitchy notes from all the way back a year ago literally last october the Mr. Stitchy event came out, you got Mr. Stitchy, and all of these notes here were added around the Piggy universe. You got the carnival, you got well, the carnival again, you got this note here in the school, there's a few other ones like the sewers, there's one in the lighthouse, and we always called these Mr. Stitchy notes because we always thought that they were referring to Mr. Stitchy. We always thought that they were talking about Mr. Stitchy, and then Dude Man came in and that whole theory just kind of went down the toilet. Welp, it turns out we were right. These notes are Mr. Stitchy notes, and they are talking about Mr. Stitchy. Let me explain. Explained. So if you go inside the school, there's a note here at the end. This note is old. It's grungy. You can tell it was written a long time ago. And it says, I gave him a face. I was his only friend. Who do we know that existed a long time ago? And well, that was lonely and became friends with someone that would need a face. Dude, man, he was lonely. He became friends with this creature from another dimension. Of course, he's going to need a face. What face are we talking about? We're talking about Mr. Stitchy. Dude, man was a normal person. He gave this weird interdimensional creature a face. He gave Mr. Stitchy his teddy bear head. And when you think about it like that, it makes sense because Dude Man literally has a stitched up mask just like Mr. Stitchy. That's what he gave him. Also, Dude Man was lonely. I was his only friend. It makes sense. But the connection goes a lot deeper because remember, Mr. Dude Man, he said over time, this creature got angry and eventually he left him. Well, if you go to the carnival map, there's a note that says just that. When he learned of my condition, he grew sad and frustrated. He left. Over time, Dude Man became more like this creature creature and just like the note says he grew tired and frustrated he laughed but it keeps going from there because remember mr dude man said whenever he left he started the infection he started to cause chaos in the world he got angry and that's exactly what this note here says someone began to disrupt the countryside the descriptions of witnesses matched his look i never saw him again referring to the one beyond aka mr stitchy now there's a few other notes that also tie into this for example this one in the sewers light the beacon summon it what did we summon by lighting candles mr stitchy dude man's friend that's how he summoned him and there's also this note here how far would you go for your safety good friend how about we make a deal again the word friend and make a deal what does dude man do all the time he makes deals that's literally what he did with zizzy now you may think already wow this is really mind-blowing stuff it gets even crazier now this is going even further into theory territory but we know the dude man was a normal person before but was he an animal or was he a human well someone pointed out a pretty good observation that I haven't really noticed before. Dude Man has five fingers. He's the only person in the entire story to have five fingers. The animals don't have five fingers, but humans do. And if we look at him, he literally looks like a human. What if Dude Man was actually a human before? Now, this gets pretty crazy because remember the Harold tweet, this one right here, the whole joke tweet that, you know, this looks like Dude Man, his name's Harold. But what if Harold was actually his name before the infection started? Whenever he was friends with Mr. Stitchy and all of that, Another thing that may hint towards this is Minitoon always names the first letter of the name of the creature after the animal they are. Zizzy Zebra, Pedro Pony. What if Harold the Human? H and H, Harold the Human. Harold could have been his name when he was a human 
before he got turned into, well, dude man. No, it gets even crazier than that, because remember at the beginning of the video, I talked about Zizzy's sister, Z, and how dude man mentions that she is just like he was back when he was a normal person, how he was lonely, how he never spoke, and how Z never speaks. Well, remember how he used the keyword lonely? Well, remember in Inner City, this, this creature here, this weird, mysterious figure, I made a whole video about it. I was like, you know, this is probably either Zizzy or Z, because it looks like a zebra, it has the model of a zebra. This is this character has to be either Z or Zizzy. And of course, it takes place in Inner City, which takes place after book two in the future. So it definitely could be Z. She could be grown up. Well, remember what this character is called, the Lonesome Wayfarer. The Lonely Traveler is what that translates to. Again, keyword lonely. What other character is lonely, just like Dude Man, Z. This character right here is probably Z. All grown up, inside of inner city that is what dude man seems to be hinting at z is lonely just like he was and the character is literally called the lonely wayfarer the lonely wanderer it all adds up not to mention that this character seems to be a zebra now of course this still all leaves a few unanswered questions like who exactly is pulling zizzy through this portal well i actually did some digging on stream and this arm is pretty much an exact copy of mr stitchy's arm i am like 90 percent sure that the person pulling zizzy through the portal is in fact Mr. Stitchy. And of course, this also leaves the mystery of this weird guy, this weird friend who also shares the body of Mr. Stitchy, by the way, like literally it's the same model, as well as the mystery of who exactly these guys are. They're called Sentinels, but we don't really know much about them other than that. So leave your theories on these guys all down below in the comments. I'm going to do some more digging, try to figure all this out, but let me know what you think. I think all of this adds up. I think there's so much evidence that this pretty much has to be it. I think we got to figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching though. Like I said, subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos. If I find anything else, I'll make an updated video on it. You definitely don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe. Keep using star code recruit when you're buying your Robux and Robux premium. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.